Hello to all. Welcome to evening prayer on this Wednesday, and it's the feast day of St. Peter Claver, an important American saint, and uh, it's uh, just something we should always strive to, uh, to pray for is uh, that we have more American saints in our today's world, in modern time, people out there right now in this country working uh, for God's glory, preaching the gospel, spreading the good news, doing good works on the, uh, on the behalf of the citizens of this country, especially the poor, the marginalized. And uh, so that's actually that's what St. Peter uh, did was he took care of uh, the very marginalized people of his time and so we honor him today. Our scripture readings today, uh, in particular our gospel, a very familiar gospel. Uh, this was from Luke. Uh, there are two versions of this. Uh, of course, a lot of things uh, in the synoptic gospels are parallel. Uh, the, uh, the, the Sermon on the Plain, as it's referred to in Luke's Gospel, the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew's Gospel, one and the same uh, recounts of, of this uh, story of Jesus. And uh, I was told, I've never been, but I was told that in that area where they believe this took place, it was indeed uh, a hilly area, but there were large flat areas as you go up the hill you would encounter these large mesas these flat areas almost like natural amphitheaters so it made sense that jesus would stop at one of these level areas on a hill on a mount where the acoustics were great because he'd have his back against the hillside and then the people would be out in front of him uh, where they could really hear him well so today's sermon uh, on, the, on the plain, as it's referred to in Luke's gospel, uh, of course, is all about the Beatitudes. Blessed are those who are poor, as Luke says, blessed are those who are poor in spirit, as Matthew says. Whether you're poor or poor in spirit, uh, it's the same thing is for when we recognize our poverty on our own. And we, you know, when you're poor, you depend on someone else. And so being poor or being poor in spirit is just a recognition of our dependence on our Lord and Savior for everything. Yes, he gives us everything. He gives us gifts. He gives us wisdom, knowledge, and all the beautiful gifts of the Holy Spirit, but we recognize that they are from Him, from God. And on our own, we accomplish nothing. See, that's the opposite. In Luke's Gospel, too, after the Beatitudes, he does the opposite. He says, woe to those who are rich you will be poor. So filling ourselves up with our ego, with self-worth, self-confidence, uh, foregoing our dependency on God is the danger zone. We always have to be, we have to always recognize the fact that we are poor in spirit. We are poor unless God enriches us with his grace, his gifts, his love. So today let us turn in our poverty <clears throat> to our Lord and ask him to fill us up with good things. Let us do our evening prayer, shall we? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Those who sow in tears will reap in joy. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. On our lips there were songs. The heathens themselves said, What marvels the Lord worked for them! What marvels the Lord worked for us! Indeed, we were glad. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will reap, will sing when they reap. They go out, they go out full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back full of song, carrying their sheaves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you have raised from the earth, raised us from the earth. May you let the seeds of justice, which we have sown in tears, grow and increase in your sight. May we reap in joy the harvest we hope for patiently. Those who sow in tears will reap in joy. May the Lord build our house and guard our city. If the Lord does not build the house, in vain do its builders labor. If the Lord does not watch over the city, in vain does the watchman keep vigil. In vain is your early arising, your going later to rest. You who toil for the bread you eat, when he pours gifts on his beloved while they slumber. Truly, sons are a gift from the Lord, a blessing, the fruit of the womb. Indeed, the sons of youth are like arrows in the hand of a warrior. Oh, the happiness of the man who has filled his quiver with these arrows. He will have no cause for shame when he disputes with his foes in the gateways. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You command the seed to rise, Lord God. Though the farmer is unaware, grant that those who labor for you may trust not in their own work, but in your help. Remembering that the land is brought to flower, not with human tears, but with those of your Son. May the church rely only upon your gifts. May the Lord build our house and guard our city. He is the firstborn of all creation. In every way, the primacy is his. Let us give thanks to the Father for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in light. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved, his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In him everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. All were created through him, all were created for him. He is before all else that is. In him everything continues in being. It is he who is head of the body, the church, he who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, so that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him, and by means of him to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. He is the firstborn of all creation. In every way, the primacy is his. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. To the elders among you, I, a fellow elder, a witness of Christ's sufferings, and sharer in the glory that is to be revealed, make this appeal. God's flock is in your midst. Give it a shepherd's care. Watch over it willingly as God would have you do, 
not under constraint and not for shameful profit either, but generously. Be examples to the flock, not lording it over those assigned to you, so that when the chief shepherd appears, you will win for yourselves the unfading crown of glory. This is a man who loved his brethren and ever prayed for them. This is a man who loved his brethren and ever prayed for them. He spent himself in their service and ever prayed for them. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. This is a man who loved his brethren and ever prayed for them. O Christ, Good Shepherd, I thank you for leading me to glory. I pray that the flock you have entrusted to my care will share with me in your glory forever. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel. For he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O Christ, Good Shepherd, I thank you for leading me to glory. I pray that the flock you have entrusted to my care will share with me in your glory forever. Christ Jesus is worthy of all praise, for he was appointed high priest among men and women and their representative before God. We honor him and in our frailty we pray, bring salvation to your people, Lord. You marvelously illuminate, illuminated your church through distinguished leaders and holy men and women. Let Christians rejoice always in such splendor. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. You forgave the sins of your people when their holy leaders like Moses sought your compassion. Through their intercession, continue to purify and sanctify your holy people. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. In the midst of their brothers and sisters, you anointed your holy ones and filled them with the Holy Spirit. Fill all the leaders of your people with the same Spirit. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. You yourself are the only visible possession of our holy pastors. Let none of them, one at the price of your blood, remain far from you. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. The shepherds of your flock, keep your flock from being snatched out of your hand. Through them you give your flock eternal life. Save those who have died, those for whom you gave up your life. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer that Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God of mercy and love, you offer all peoples the dignity of sharing in your life, by the example and prayers of St. Peter Claver, strengthen us to overcome all racial hatreds and to love each other as brothers and sisters. 
We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a restful, peaceful, and great night. And we'll do this again tomorrow. God bless all of you. Good night.